Alright, howdy folks. Wanted to make this video right before the new year. Just wanted to wish you all a happy new year. I haven't talked about RuneScape in a while. I haven't even made any uh, Get 99 videos because I've just been too lazy to do it. But recently I got maxed. Wasn't super long ago, but I finally finished Dragon Slayer 2. So now I'm just doing cooking in the Mist Guild. Currently 115.3 million cooking XP. I am getting this a lot quicker than I remember getting it the first time. Because back in the day, back in like 2010, when I got 200 million cooking XP, it took forever. But then again, well, I was doing tuna most of the time. Because back on RS3, that is now known as, <laughs> everything was a lot different back then. I was doing basically whatever I could break even on. Uh, yeah, anyway, I was trying to do back then whatever I could break even on. So, tuna, I usually either lost 5 GP per tuna or I made 5 to 10 GP per tuna. So I just did tuna because sharks were too expensive. Now, angler fish is the way to go on old school. I mean, basically, it doesn't matter what you do on old school with cooking. Everything is profitable. That's why so many people have 200 mil XP on cooking because right now, let's see, uh, cooked angler fish, 1265, and then raw is 1092. So I basically just bought a bunch of these. I just stocked up on them because it doesn't really matter. You know, I initially bought these at 1060 something each. Regardless, the cooked is never going to get that low. So I, I bought like 100k of these. I how, how many do I have right now? Okay, 50, 54k. I had a lot more money than this. I'm not going to lie, I had a lot more money than this. But I bought, I decided to get the Bofa. And I corrupted it so I don't have to lose charges. And I bought a bunch of other crap. Got the Ferocious Gloves. Obviously, if you finish Dragon Slayer 2, this is one of the first things you get is the Ferocious Gloves. And then... Honestly, I explored the Mist Guild. It was alright. It was a little bit underwhelming. I was mainly trying to finish this quest. Just for the sake of finishing the quests. But, uh... I mainly wanted to finish this quest so I can use this cooking spot. This is the best cooking spot in the game. I mean, the best cooking spot in the game has always been the Rogue's Den. Some people would argue that and say that the... Cooking Guild is the best, but that's a couple squares away from the range and the bank. So the Rogue's Den has typically been the best, especially if you're 99, if you're 99 cooking and you have the cooking cape, which obviously I have the max cape, then you're not going to burn anything. So obviously at the Rogue's Den, that's, you know, that's the best cooking spot in the game. Now for mobile, that's an entirely different story. Now for mobile, my main beef with mobile is that the bank is not one clickable. It's not a single click for the bank. Now on this, it is a single click for the cooking range and the bank. So both of these are one click. That's primarily why I wanted to get this quest done so, ma so badly. I wanted to get this quest done. Now, I only died at Garvanik. What, what the hell of a stupid level? 608. Dragon Boss, whatever the hell his name is. I only died about eight or nine times. Bite me. But, hey, I managed to get through it. I'm not good at bossing. People are always giving me shit about, Hey, why don't why are you maxed and you don't have any bossing? I've done a couple bosses, but I'm not really on the high scores with any of these bosses. i got to change that. I mean, of course, Barrow's. I did I did some barrels just for the memories, but other than that, I have not. Now, there's a reason behind this, okay? I'm going to defend myself like any politician would. I'm not into politics. Eat me. Seriously, though. I've just... There's two main reasons. Number one, I just suck at bossing. Like, I'll give you an example. Fire cape. I did not expect to get the fire cape. Like, the fire cape is honestly relatively easy to get. It's just very time consuming. I was not expecting to even get the fire cape. Okay, one night, like quick story right here, one night I went 
like I was drunk and I was like, I'm gonna go kick Jad's ass. I'm gonna go kick his ass. So I did that. I did not I was not prepared at all. Okay, I I was not prepared. Basically I had all my gear. I, I think I used Blessed Dragon Hide at the time. And I used a magic short bow. I used a magic short bow. And I brought dragon arrows because I'm a dumbass. I thought that the magic short bow, for some reason, this is a uh, dumbass drunk Nick talking, you know, basically at that time. He was. I did not know that you could not use dragon arrows with the magic short bow. So I brought a, I brought a bunch of rune arrows. I brought. <laughs> I brought dragon arrows. And then as soon as I got to the last wave, he's like, Oh, look, here, watch out, here comes Jad. And then I was spam clicking on the dragon arrows. I'm like, what the hell? Why is it not equipped? Why am I not using the dragon? God, I'm a dumbass. Like, So basically, I ended up killing Jad with rune arrows and a magic short bow. And I was freaking out because, like I said, I suck at bossing. So I was just like, I was like, oh shit, which one? The thing, that I thought for sure I was going to die because I was lagging. Like, I lagged a couple times. My internet is shit. <laughs> that's, one of the, that's another reason why I don't like bossing. I don't like doing any sort of sketchy, dangerous activities. Because a lot of the time, if I do literally anything other than RuneScape... Because I have dual monitors, alright? So if I try to do anything else that utilizes an internet connection it doesn't matter if it's loading if it doesn't matter if it's loading a random web page or downloading a file uploading a video pretty much any time i try to do anything sometimes even if i try to do something on my phone that uses an internet connection i just start lagging like, I'll go from, hey, I'm cooking, and then my character will just stand there like a dumbass. And then it'll say in the corner, connection lost, attempting to reconnect or whatever. And then the thing that really annoys me, because I use RuneLite, like, probably 90% of old school RuneScape, everybody uses RuneLite. So the thing is, it's like, oh yeah, connection lost for the millionth time. That's not the annoying part. The annoying part for me is that every time that it says losing connection, I just pretty much keep task manager open, and then I immediately just, as soon as I see that message, connection lost, I just close the damn thing. I, I just close it and then reopen the game. The reason why I use task manager is because I'll, I'll keep spam clicking on the X button, and it'll just freeze for like 30 straight seconds, and then I wind up staring at the login screen anyway. So it's quicker to just close it with the task manager. But the thing is, every single damn time I lose connection. On I don't know if it's RuneLite or just every RuneScape client in general with old school, but it will almost guarantee me that it's just gonna kick me to the login screen. I don't know why it does that. I really don't know why it does that. Like even even if it does manage to reconnect. And then I'm basically back to playing the game. Like, woohoo, look at me, I'm playing the game. I'm not lagging at all. No lag whatsoever. So I just go back to playing the game normally. And then within 30 seconds to a minute, I'm just staring at the login screen. Like, it just immediately jumps to the login screen. I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? So that's why I'm just in the habit of I keep Task Manager open. And as soon as I see that in the corner, connection lost. Like, it's like, oh boy, my character is not cooking anymore, even though I only cooked three fucking anglerfish. And then as soon as I see that connection lost, I just I just use Task Manager and I close the damn thing and I open it again. And then I get to spam the login thing because it'll just keep telling me, oh, you have not logged out from your last session. So I get to sit there for 30 seconds waiting for this dumbass. Sometimes even, even if... It's a, it's a, okay, there's more to it than that. Yep, there's more. Because if I don't close it, that's why I'm so eager to just close the damn client. I know I'm rambling on right now because normally I just wanted to talk about, hey, I got maxed, but it's the new year and I love sangria, so eat my ass. Anyway, so you're going to be dealing with this right now. You're going to be dealing with at least a 20-minute ramble video because 
I, I've been holding this up for a long time. I've been wanting to bitch about this for a long time. Alright. Like, it's half the time, if not most of the time, I lose connection. It jumps to the login screen, and then it says, failed to log in. And it's like, I keep pressing to log in again, and it keeps saying, failed to log in, failed to log in, failed to log in. It basically just does that forever. The only way to get around it is to close the damn game and open it again. So, that's why I'm in the habit of just using Task Manager to force close this damn thing every time I lose connection. But, I mean, to really sum it up, that's why I don't like doing bosses. I don't like doing any sort of uh, things where I can die and lose all my shit. Because if I lose my shit digitally, I'm going to lose my shit physically. I am going to shit myself, and I'm going to punch a hole in the wall. So, that's why I'm tired of people giving me shit. Because shit stinks. I'm tired of people giving me shit. That I don't do bosses. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you're maxed. Yeah, I'm maxed. Yeah, I'm maxed. Yeah. Stop reminding me that I'm maxed and I don't do bosses. Okay, this is a huge reason. I I suck at bossing, just in general. I... I will make another video just to prove my point. Like, I'll make a video of me doing random bosses. I probably can't even do bandos because I'm a dumbass. Like, I'm, t I'm not kidding. Doing, if trying to finish this quest just to get into the Mist Guild, the level 608 dragon boss was so annoying. I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was so annoying. I, somehow I didn't lag, but that didn't stop me from dying anyway. I remember after dying, okay, after dying like four times. And it's like after the fourth or fifth time, I was just like, okay, I'm done. Because clearly I'm not paying attention. Because the part that was really irritating is the first attempt that I tried to finish that boss, I made it to the very end. I made it to the very, very end, to the final phase. And... I ran out of supplies, and I was like two or three hits away from actually finishing the boss, but I was out of supplies. I was down to like 20 HP. And then he caught me in that stupid little rock frozen special attack or whatever. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And then right after he did that, he did that stupid fireball special attack. So I was like, okay, I'm going to die. I might as well just teleport out so I don't have to waste more money trying to recover my shit. And then after that, I was like, okay, well, I got that I got that close, so let's do it again. So I did it like three or four more times. And then uh, I just kept dying. And after like the fifth time in a row, like the fifth time, I died during the first phase. Like, I was just not paying attention at all. I'm, I'm just like, okay, I'm clearly not even awake right now. If I'm not going to pay attention, if I'm going to be this much of a dumbass, because... I was at the first phase where you basically, it's common sense, okay? The first phase is the easiest. You literally just stay in the center of the boat and you go forward and backward. That's it. Because he launches the mines on the left and right corner of the boat. So I'm like, what the hell? How much of a dumbass am I where I, <laughs> all I have to do is go up and down, just stick to the center of the boat. What did my dumbass do? I went, I just started clicking on the left side of the boat. Five seconds later, I just get one hitted by the mine. So I'm just like, okay, fuck this. I'm done. Like, I'm taking a break. Because clearly, I'm just, I'm not capable of paying attention at all. So that's why I'm just doing cooking now. But so I just, I basically, I went back to the rogues den and I just went back to cooking for a while. And then, uh, eventually, I went back to trying to do this again. And, well, I died three or four more times, but, yo, I got a little bit of liquid courage at the time. So I was like, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep doing this until I finish this. Like, I'm not going to stop. All right, because I just finished 99 Slayer. Everybody was snoring in the fucking clan chat. I don't know why... People do that, like, you, they really, you're too lazy to type words. You're just going to spam the Z button. Quit snoring. What the hell? Type words, damn it. It's, we're not texting on a phone. 
We're on a computer. Give me a break. But yeah. After I got 99 Slayer, I got the imbued heart drop. So I got a bunch of extra money. I was like, okay, well, uh, I'm going to go try to finish this quest again. And uh, she's like, I I don't care how many times I fail it. I can't stop farting. Who the hell cares? Nobody's going to watch this anyway. But yeah, seriously, I, after I got the imbued heart drop, it just, it gave me more confidence. Like, hey, I got, I got all the money in the world. I don't care if I waste like three to 500k every time I fail at finishing this boss. I'm going to just keep doing it until I run out of money. So that's basically what I did. I just kept doing it, doing it, doing it. And then, like, my heart was racing. Every time I do these complicated bosses... My heart just starts racing, like, especially towards the end, I was like, oh my god, I'm at the final phase, I'm basically where I was when I first initially tried this boss. I was like, who the hell is this? No. (laughs) But when I was at the final phase, where he was in the center of the boat, I was just basically spam clicking because i just i kept watching a bunch of guide videos and they were just like spam clicking i was just like okay i'm gonna do this i'm not trying to fuck around anymore i want to get this done so i just kept spam clicking around around just like non-stop clicking and like every once in a while i would click to attack him and i just keep spam clicking to move around because like you don't know if he's gonna do that special fireball attack or he's gonna do the freezing attack or whatever so i just i just kept moving i was just non-stop moving at the final phase like, that was even more, that was more nerve-wracking than the, the second phase or whatever where he does the, the water wave. And I'm just like, holy crap. I died at the water wave two or three times, I believe. Be- the first couple times I died at the water wave because I was such a fucking dumbass. Okay, okay the first time, I, I wasn't using... The whatever it is where you click on something and it shows you the square that you clicked on so you actually know where you're clicking on. So the first time I fucked up because basically I, I didn't even know where I was clicking. You have you only have one square of space to get through that wave. So I died that time. Next time I tried using the little rune light plugin where it tells you exactly where you're clicking, where your character's going to move. So the next time I did that... I clicked way up here, like way ahead. I was just like, why did I do that? I was not thinking at all. It was like a spur of the moment because let's say I was right here and the wave was right here. So I clicked right here, like right here. And then instead of my character running this way and being like right here, he ran that way right into the fucking wave. I was like, oh my God. So then third time's a charm so basically next time i'm like okay focus this time so as soon as i saw the wave i went the wave came up from this way you probably hear fireworks because it is 20 minutes until the new year right now it's probably gonna be a new year before i upload this video but no the wave came up right here and then i just said okay click here and then here's the wave and then as soon as i was there i clicked this way to try to get through the wave as quick. What the hell are you? You take a chill pill. So yeah. Because basically. That boss is such a pain in the ass. Because. Even after the he does the wave attack. You have to go straight through that one square. Like just straight through it. You have to get. Right. Right in line with that wave, and then you have to run straight through the wave because more than likely he's going to do that special fireball attack right after the wave, and you have to move a couple squares after away from that to uh, get away from it. So that's why I was like, okay, shit, get lined up, get lined up. I'm going to probably die again. Oh, wait, no, I didn't die this time. Wow, golly me, I didn't die this time. So that's when I... Just at that point, my heart was racing. Like I made it to the final wave where he's in the center, and then at that point, I'm just spam clicking around him. I'm just spam clicking nonstop to try to because I wanted to get this shit done. Like eight attempts later, give me a break. Like someone like me, I'm maxed. I should have just knocked him out in like two minutes, but whatever. 
Uh, like I said, I will. I'll. I'll give you an example. Like I need more practice. I have very rarely actually done bosses, so a lot of people are just giving me shit. Why are you doing bosses? You're max. And you'll do bosses. Okay, I'll start doing bosses. I'll do whatever the hell I feel like doing. But yeah, that's basically it. So I just wanted to give a status update that turned way longer than I wanted to. This video is twenty minutes and 22 seconds right now so yeah i just want to talk about uh the fact that i've skipped all these 99s because i had a few 99s left that i was gonna get and i just i didn't make a video of any of them because i just didn't feel like it i was making a video of every individual 99 and then i never even made a video of me maxing so i i suppose this is my maxing video 115.4 million cooking xp so, I don't know if I'm going to make more RuneScape videos. I don't play RS3 anymore. I haven't legitimately played RS3 since 2019 or 2020 or something like that. I just don't like RS3 anymore, so I'm strictly old school. So, if I make any videos of RuneScape, it's going to be old school. Honestly, I don't even think I'm going to say old school anymore. I'm just going to title this video as RuneScape. Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm only playing one version of the game. And that is old school. Even though I'm currently using the HD plugin. Yeah, that's basically about it. So, right as of now, I am uh, just cooking here at the Miss Guild for a little while longer. Until I get 200 mil cooking XP. And uh, that's about it. So... Happy New Year, everyone, and here's to a wonderful 2024. Stay tuned for more videos. See you, folks.